Hi everyone and welcome back to Planning with Raven. Today we're going to be doing an Erin Condren open box on the Functional 2020 Planner. And um, we're also going to discuss the 20, my 2018 planner um, and basically my switch from the Life Planner vertical layout over to the Functional Planner and like the reasoning behind that and the benefits that I foresee in the future. So let's go ahead and talk about this packaging, y'all. So Erin Condren is known for her beautiful packaging. If you've, you know, if you've been following my channel over the past year, I actually did a Erin Condren open box on my 2019 planner. And, um, you know, that box that she packaged the her items in, that was yellow, but the packaging was still the same. So I'm kind of excited to see that she's still being consistent with the beautiful packaging. It always kind of gives you something to look forward to in the mail, you know, versus your standard, like, brown box or just, like, the bills that come in the mail. So I'm actually super excited um, to share this with you all. And I was super excited to get this package. So go ahead and get started. All right. So in this box... So one thing that Erin Condren loves doing is basically like an article about herself. It's like an about me. Um, and a lot of the things that she kind of discusses, you know, the fact that we use planners till this day, although we're in such a tech world these days. So it's kind of, you know, amazing to see papers still at the top of the charts when it comes to planning when it comes to art when it comes to living your day to day when you have all this technology available so she also gives you like a little discount code here um and so this is just kind of like about her and then if you open it she kind of discusses the the different planning tips that you could potentially use and she kind of goes over um, some of the products that she sells on her website so Let's go ahead and move into the actual Erin um, Condren box. So this is how it comes. Really pretty, really elegant, very simple. Um, wrapped in some yellow tissue paper. Let me open this. Some bubble wrap. And then boom. So let's take this out. All right. So... Here we go, guys. Um, I purchased some stickers as well. So this was separate from the actual planner. It did not come with the planner. But um, when I purchased my planner, there was a sale going on. So I was able to get these half off. Um, and then, of course, you know, Black Friday is coming up. So if you are, you know, planning on buying a new planner for 2020, or if you're just going to start planning for 2020, it's a great time to go in and um, visit those different websites and get your planner going and things along those lines. So let's go ahead and I'm going to open the sticker set actually because I'm kind of interested to see what this sticker set has. So she has a couple editions. This one is edition four. It's a classic edition. Um, a couple of things that I'm looking forward to for 2020 for myself is being very functional and very simple and organized and kind of elegant at the same time. So I'm hoping this book, along with a couple of other simple stickers that I have, is going to kind of help me along that journey. So open this up. We do have some cute little stickers. One thing that I really love about Erin Condren is like the, the rose gold options that she places on her stickers. It's really, really pretty and it makes me so happy. So we have some functional stickers here. I love using these. Um, I use these a lot for my monthly spreads, or not monthly spreads, my monthly goals for 2019 this year. So hopefully with this functional planner, I can find some use to them. That makes me happy. So some more colors. So these are going to be really pretty, and one thing that I do love about these stickers is that they're kind of small, which is going to be perfect for my functional planner since I have moved on. Um, and let's see. So these actually are a different material. They're like, what's it called? They're not paper. 
they're more kind of like synthetic I would say um, those stickers are really interesting and just have some more stickers here so yeah so this is definitely a different sticker sheet I'm trying to remember the name of this guys but um, if you can kind of see like it's not paper so we'll see how those work out in the planner I'm really hoping they stick properly that's one thing that I'm concerned about but I guess we'll see and then um, the last page is just some random quotes that we have here um, I'm really big on quotes so I'm really looking forward to using these especially because they're so small um, one thing that I know will be a transition for me is the functional planner is it's functional so there's not a lot of space to do like random notes I would say as of right now but of course once we start adding our stickers and start playing around with the functional planner we'll definitely find a way to make the planner fit our needs for the year so that is the classic edition four all right so now to the fun part so here's my planner super basic um here's so well, let's go and do some comparison so here is the life planner vertical edition um, as you all know, these are customizable. You can add pictures, whatever you like. For the functional planner, it's kind of the same. Um, I just chose a black layout instead. One thing that I noticed for the functional planner is if you see, um, it's like a hard notebook. So as far as like changing the cover versus changing the cover on the actual life planner, it's a little bit easier because as you can see, you can just lift these up and they come right out. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to change my functional planner's introduction or front page and hardcover rather. Um, I've used this one all 2019, so for me, this isn't really a big deal. I know some people change their covers throughout the year, so if you do plan on switching planners, that may be something you want to look into. I just went super basic and I just have my initials down here, rose gold, and that was enough for me. So, going into this, um, let's discuss what's going on. So, it's called the Focus Planner. I call it the Functional Planner because um, functional for me is basically me being focused. Functional means you are only getting, you're only writing things down that are going to actually benefit you. Like, what's the main goal? Like, getting to the main point. So, you can do that very easily in the Life Planner. However, I've had that planner for so many years, I just thought it was beneficial for me to switch up and see if there's something else out there. That's one thing that I always relate to you all. It's it's nice to get comfortable with a planner, but, you know, just like with technology, things change. And so it's always good to see if there's other options out there that may be beneficial for you that, you know, you just aren't taking advantage of. So um, I'm not going to lie. I'm definitely realizing it's going to be a transition for me because the life planner has so much space. Um, and with the actual functional planner or focus planner rather, um, the space is limited to, you know, what you need to focus on. So here, of course, we have our 2019 and our 2020 holidays. So that's still consistent um, with versus the life planner and the focus planner. Um, you have an important date, important date section. So for the life planner, if you all remember... So, you get a quote on front, which I love. You get the the spread of the prior month and then, or the prior year rather, and then the year that you're currently in. And this is kind of the same thing as dates to remember, I feel like. Um, so, again, based on my consistency with my life planner is kind of what I picked for myself for 2020. Um, the biggest thing is being honest with yourself in the space that you're going to be using. I did not use this, as you can see. Um, these, this space was supposed to be used for my credit limits for the year, and I only used it for January. So I definitely did not do a great job on that. And then, of course, the actual note page for January I use as my monthly overview. So, um, so that's the life planner. And then for the functional planner... You have one note section. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that, but um, I do have a couple of goals that I want to start for 2020. But we keep going. Um, we have a couple of note pages, actually. 
So I'm excited to see this actually in the focus planner. So wait, it jumped to February. Did I miss something, y'all? Okay, here's your Oh, oh my god, I'm crazy. So this is the actual spread for the focus planner. So one thing that I realized, so you of course you have your monthly spread, but then the space that you have is very limited. So as you all know, for the life planner, I use the vertical layout and the vertical layout is this way, the vertical. Um, now I'm moving to horizontal. So that's definitely going to be a change for me. Something else that's going to be a change is that the boxes that I have available are basically Monday through Friday. I have no weekends, whereas the life planner, you have an option to lay out. Um, you know, Monday through Sunday, Sunday through Monday, or, or Sunday through Monday, or, or whatever have you. Um, I do have a note section, however, which is something that I'm really excited for. So, although I am very limited to the space that I have periodically throughout my day, I have a note section, which I'm going to be using for brainstorming for that week. So, basically, I want to use that for doodling for the week. Um, and then, of course, we're going to make this pretty, throw in some pretty stickers, um, you know, Saturdays and Sunday Sundays are my chill day anyway, so I'm not too upset that there's nothing in there. And Saturdays, I typically do have stuff to do, but of course, I have a section on my notes page where I can actually use that to basically, um, you know, write in my Saturdays or Sundays, whatever the case may be. So, that's basically it, and this is, you know, this is the month of January, so of course... Just, I know the focus planner looks kind of plain, but just like the life planner before we actually start, um, you know, designing it and putting in some work, it looked just like this. So this is what it looks like when it's plain, empty, you got to go in there and, you know, get your stickers going. So I'm actually looking forward to the challenge for 2020 in this focus planner. And that's kind of like the breakdown one thing that I am kind of upset about is that we don't have the monthly quotes, but again, I have stickers for monthly quotes that I put into the life planner weekly, so we're just going to play with that, see what works best, um, and that's basically what the focus planner looks like month to month. We just have, you know, five boxes in a notes page for the week straight to the point and get her done so I am actually looking forward to that so one of my main goals for 2020 was basically simplifying my life um, I'm a huge planner and sometimes I can be super dramatic so with the focus planner a couple of things that I'm looking forward to is basically being able to alleviate me being dramatic with all of the plans that I'm writing down some stuff does not have to be documented and so I'm hoping with this planner that kind of alleviates some of those dramatic effects that I do. So um, one thing that I do like about the life planner, though, is that it has like a note section in the back. So um, what do we have here? So we have a quote in the back. Um, arriving at one goal is a starting point to another. So this is the last week of December, I could imagine. So I'm not very happy with the way it ends. I'm not happy that we don't have um, like a couple of pages in the back like we do on the life planner. Um, one thing that I like to do, to be honest with myself, and so I'm probably just going to do that on the last note page of the month, or maybe I'll do that on my monthly spread. Who knows? So. Um, that's the open box for the Erin Condren Focus Planner for 2020. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think um, about the Life Planner and the, um, the Focus Planner and your thoughts about um, trying to focus more, basically. Um, thank you for tuning in and planning with Raven. You both.